Okay, so uh, I had a great question which was asking for a real life situation that deals with subtracting a negative number. Um, and I, I like this question because um, you deal with all these numbers you're adding and subtracting positives and negatives. It's easy to lose track of the context or the situation that it fits into. Uh, for example, if you have five dollars, and I think money is a great situation to think about positive and negatives, also temperature and other things, but let's start with money. If you have five dollars and you owe me two, you can think of that as you having five minus the two dollars, you really have three dollars because you owe me two. Or you can think of that as having five dollars and then adding negative two dollars, which is your debt, to me, and that is also telling me that you actually have three dollars because you owe me this amount. So subtracting a positive, adding a negative, very straightforward. Uh, however, if you are starting with a negative balance, so for example, uh, before we even start, you are in debt $5. So not only do you have nothing, but you already owe me $5. If I am generous and I decide to loan you two more dollars, we could add to your debt. And when you add debt, you add a negative value. So it would be negative five plus negative two, which means now your debt is, well, you owe me seven dollars, so you have negative seven dollars, or your debt is seven dollars. So you can view debt as a positive, you can say you owe me seven, or you can say that you also have negative seven dollars, which is the amount you have. So here we started with a negative, but what about subtraction? Well, let's say you owe me five dollars. Uh, well, to, to subtract a negative quantity from that. Let's say we subtracted uh, minus two dollars. What you would get is negative three dollars and this means that um, we're taking two dollars of the debt away. So we can view this as take away right here and this amount what we're doing is taking away the debt which means now you have less of a debt. You only, owe, you only have negative three dollars or only three dollars. So subtracting a negative can be thought of as taking away of debt. And sometimes, if you have a situation like minus $5, and I take away $10, negative $10 of debt, well, if you only owe me $5 to begin with, if I'm taking away this much debt, that means I'm forgiving what you owe me, and I'm giving you more money. Because the answer now is you have $5. Because negative 5 minus negative 10 is five dollars. This means that I just gave you money and you don't owe it to me. Um, and to remember how I'm getting all this stuff, negative five minus negative two. How did we do that? Well, think of the number line. Here's negative five. When you subtract two dollars from that, you would go down this way to negative seven, but we're not doing that. What we're doing is we're subtracting negative two, which is the opposite of two. So we go in the opposite direction we go up to negative three. So in fact, this is the exact same thing as negative five dollars plus two dollars. So we're adding two dollars of value to your bank account. And with the negative five dollars minus negative ten dollars, I'm doing the same thing there, but now I'm hopping further. Here's negative five, here's zero. Well, I have to hop up ten dollars and that's how I know I get to five and the reason I'm hopping up is because I'm subtracting negative ten which is the equivalent same exact thing as just adding a positive ten dollars so that's the idea